Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 29th of May, 2024. The Indian equity market continued their losing streak for the fourth consecutive session on May 29 with Nifty at 22,700 amid selling seen in the oil and gas, IT, realty, and banking names. At close, the Sensex was down 667.55 points or 0.89% at 74,502.90, and the Nifty was down 183.50 points or 0.8% at 22,704.70. Biggest Nifty losers included HDFC Life, SBI Life Insurance, Isisai Bank, Tata Consumer Products, and Tech Mahindra, while gainers were Hindalco. Power Grid Corp., Divi's Labs, Nestle and Sun Pharma. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of several shipping companies jumped up to 10% on May 29 on high volumes with triggers including order wins and March quarter results. Mazagan led the pack as its robust fourth quarter results prompted investors to buy. The company reported a revenue of 3,103.6 rupees crore, Compared to the 2,078.6 rupees crore topline it reported during the same period last year, its net profit for the period more than doubled to 663 rupees crore, compared to 326 rupees crore during the year ago quarter. Year to date, the counter has rallied over 46%. Its one year massive returns of over 332% far outpaced Nifty's return of 25% during this period. Shares of Campus Activewear skyrocketed over 16% after the company reported strong earnings for the quarter ended March 2024. Post the earnings release, Motilal Oswal retained it by a call on the stock with a target price of 295 rupees, implying an upside of 17% from the previous close. JM Financial also retained her buy rating on the stock, but cut the target price to 295 rupees per share. The footwear maker's net profit jumped 42.6% year on year to 32.7 rupees crore during the quarter and revenue rose for 0.6% year on year to 364 rupees crore. Sequentially, the bottom line of campus activewear rose, but the top line saw a decline. On the operating front, Campus EBITDA rose 16% YOY to 66.4 rupees crore in quarter for financial year 2024 as compared to 57.1 rupees crore in the year ago period. Its EBITDA margin also increased to 18.3% in the quarter under review from 16.4% in the year ago period. MTAR Technologies shares declined 10% in trade on May 29 after the defense player reported a sharp fall in net profit for March quarter. On May 28, the company announced 53.4% decline in quarter for consolidated net profit at 4.9 rupees crore as against 10.4 rupees crore in the year ago period. In quarter for F financial year 2024, the firm's revenue from operations clocked in at 143 rupees crore, up 20.8% from 118.4 rupees crore in corresponding quarter in financial year 2023. However, EBITDA dropped 23.6% to 18.2 rupees crore in quarter for financial year 2024 as against 23.9 rupees crore in quarter 3 financial year 2024. Motilal Oswal retained its buy call on the company despite the weak operating performance. The EBITDA margin contracted 12.2 percentage points year on year to 12.7%, led by a 320 BPS contraction in gross margins to 45.3% and an increase in other expenses employee expenses. Shares of realty firm Brigade Enterprises rose 9% to hit a 52 week high of 1,331 rupees in Wednesday's trade on BSE after the firm reported a nearly threefold jump in consolidated net profit to 206.09 rupees crore for the March quarter on the back of higher income. Its net profit stood at 69.25 rupees crore in the year ago period. Meanwhile, its total income rose to 1,762.62 rupees crore in the fourth quarter of the last fiscal from 872.11 rupees crore in the corresponding period of the previous year. Icemake Refrigeration Limited in daily time frame is trading around 645.95 points with a change of 20% and is trading with a net volume of around 743.897 thousand shares. 
the share price is trading above its moving average 552.21 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 74.28. Emki Taps and Cutting Tools Limited in daily time frame is trading around 831.60 points with a change of 20% and is trading with a net volume of around 20.1 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 725.29, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 67.71. Krishna Defense and Allied Industries Limited in daily time frame is trading around 703.70 points with a change of 19.99% and is trading with a net volume of around 250.5 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average, 530.80, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 89.66. For the stock recommendation we have, HDFC Life Insurance Company Limited looks good and can be bought at 562 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 550 rupees and a target of 598 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!